Okay then, it is day two of F1 in schools UK National Final 2019 taking place here at the magnificent Airbus A380 Wing Factory in Broughton. And you can tell it's a special day uh, because I've gone on for the special ceremony shoes that will be happening today, but we haven't had the pit walk of the professional class. So let's start with this team, Britannia Red. I'm going to come straight in uh, to the team manager, Abby. Tell me about your pit. Well, we wanted to go for a simple design for our display so it can catch people's eyes as they're walking past and obviously with the red it's very eye-catching against the aluminium background and a fantastic logo and i found out those are straws in that little container there and um, which is the sort of area that you really want people to sort of look at the pit and take away well definitely we obviously want people to look at the car because it's a car competition that's why it's our main area of the display um, now Tilly will show you our augmented reality. Whoa, hang on a minute. What is going on here? We're seeing that sort of slightly there. Oh, fantastic. So then you can get the 3D model of the car. See that everything. Well, that's just, well, that is very special. We have started in a great place here for the pit. Um, look at this. Well, do you know what? I'm going to come back and catch a little bit more of that. Britannia Red, lovely to see you this morning. Best of luck for today. And look at this. They're not even standing up. They've got Pirelli tires in the go. Uh, it's Bowman Eagles Racing. Who should I talk to about this pit display? Logan, talk to me. So we made it ourselves in the class. So Zach designed it and Matthew Begg made it. And, and it's and very I'd, hard. I, well, I'm, sure, I'm assuming it's very hard as well. But this, what's going on? There's a lack of professionalism. You're just sitting on tyres. Is this how you're relaxing for day two today? Yeah, we're just like a bit lazy, <laughs> just sitting down. Uh, so, tired. I see what you did there. That is a beautiful pun there, tired. Um, now, talk to me about this. Uh, what is the main area that you want people to see in the pit? The car, really. And also our display screens. Okay, I like that. And I, I see the display screens are in the back there. Because, because obviously Matthew was in the way there, I couldn't see. And Zach, I couldn't see everything that was going on. Uh, beautiful display. Uh, guys, uh, best of luck today. Um, and don't be too tired uh, for the rest of it. Blue Rocket Racing, who should I come to to chat about the pit? Oh, I come to Ben. Ben, talk to me about your pit. Uh, so we've got many things on our pit, including uh, iPad 3D printer. Uh, the 3D printer was what we used to print prototypes of our uh, 3D printed parts in a different material just to test them. We've also got the car on a turntable that's integrated into this uh, right risen bit in the uh, pit display as well. Yeah, so you've gone for a lot of tech uh, in that. Is that something that you've really enjoyed as part of this process in the STEM challenge? Yeah, designing the pit display is certainly one of the best things to enjoy, especially with designing the graphics as well. A lot of technical life skills that I've had to learn as well to be able to do that. Oh, indeed, life skills. I'm looking, I'm looking and reading uh, a lot about you guys as well, um, which is brilliant to see. Well, listen, best of luck with the racing day. Are you excited to get back in the track? Yeah, definitely. Alistair's looking forward to uh, racing our car for us. Alistair, best of luck. Um, listen, we're going to go to uh, Protonic. Um, listen, guys, uh, brilliant in the uh, racing yesterday. Very fast reactions. For He's already moving. Um, it, is we, tell me about the pit, though. I want to know about this. Well, um, we don't have much space to transport it, so we've got to flat pack the table, as you can see. So it's all these fit together, like uh, flat pack furniture, like that. That can be quite annoying. People get yeah. quite annoyed with flat pack furniture. Was this yeah. all right to put There's together? No um, nuts or screws or anything, it just slots together. Perfect, so there's kind of a renewable sort of, uh, sort of theme about it. And wh what sort of area do you really want people to see and, and understand what Protonic are all about? Well, there's all the 3D printing and stuff that we've done. That's been a quite integral part of what we've done here. For testing especially, the, um, it's very handy to print things faster because the CNC machine is a lot more fiddly than printing is. Yeah. It's brilliant. Well, I love it. It's, it's simple, minimalist, but I like it. And I'm loving the jersey as well uh, today, guys. Best of luck on the track. I'll catch up with them later on. We're going to have a chat with the Centurion Racing. Very fast yesterday. Um, Grant, you did a great job at racing. But uh, who should I talk to about the pit display? Um, you can talk about to everyone. Oh, I like that, Grant. He's taking ownership of it. So tell me, what's your favorite feature of the pit? Um, I'm sort of a fan of the, like, uh, interactivity of it with the reaction timer there. We even have a competition on, so if you want to come around and have a look, we have a year's subscription to the Race Car Engineering magazine. A year's subscription, that is ridiculously good investment. Erica, um, what is your favourite area of the pit and what, what do you really want people when they come here to, to notice? Well, obviously the cars. They are babies at this point. You can see all of the generations of the cars. Yeah. I, th I think that obviously lets you stand out as a pit because we know that you've competed in, in tournament after tournament. So, so this is this is the progression. Are you at your peak now? 
I think definitely, definitely. This is the future. It yeah. is indeed. Um, well, listen, since you're in racing, I'm looking forward to seeing you on the track. It was a 1.15, fight. no, it was 5.0, wasn't it? It was almost the fastest yesterday. So best of luck for the rest of the day. Uh, there you go. Um, since you're in racing, we'll head round. Uh, we're going to get through all of these pits as uh, quick as we can and chat to the guys. Here they are. Lovely to see them again. Novo, uh, let's chat to you. Uh, talk to me about your pit. I'm seeing a lot of colour and a lot of information, and I like that. Yeah, so I think we've really gone for a colourful vibe. I think something that wants to stand out in front of all the people. So I think we've got, we've got like the interactive display in the middle. We've got all our sponsors on the backboard that we really want to show and display. And we want to display the car right in the middle. Yeah, indeed. And, and I can see right in the middle, that is your sponsors. They're the people who've, who've got you here. And I'm liking the cheeky designs of your characters. Are you happy with how your um, design yeah, came out? It's, it's something about it's something we want to create personal. So we've got each of our own has been uh, specially made. And we've got all our little stats on the side. So obviously we've got the like the official ones and the business like ones. We've also got a few funny ones. So for Matthew, we've got two bottles of hairspray used <laughs> just to add in a bit of a joke and something something more interesting. I like that, it's giving it the team vibe. And obviously we know uh, if you've ever met Matthew before that he's got the biggest smile there, which is exactly what's happening uh, just on that side. Guys, I'll see you on the track today. Novo there. Um, right, we move on uh, to Cygnus racing the lovely team jerseys. Who shall I chat to about this pit? Okay. Hi. Hi. Good morning. <laughs> We've started, that's very, and I like that, very um, familiar and, and friendly. Uh, so Jess, so talk to me about everything in this pit. Okay, so we've got obviously our team colour, which is the cyan, um, and with our logo and our sponsors along the bottom. Um, Seven Signs printed it all for us, which is really helpful. Um, we have our car, along with the, um, the uh, <laughs> avatars that we made um, to symbolise each of us. And on the bottom we have our 3D printer, with um, all of our faces which we printed out, which is pretty cool. And I'm loving Oliver Hale right at the top there. I'll even get in there. It's accurate with a the beard there. Uh, great work from Oliver. And uh, what I also like about this pit is um, you know, I don't have to bend down to see too much. It's all on that sort of eye level, which is important. And uh, did people like the pit yesterday to come around and have a look? Yeah, they really liked it. We have a little a message, a notebook that people have written messages. They're all really positive and really good. Oh, I like that. Positivity with messages. Uh, best of luck today, guys. I'll see you at the track. Sickness Racing. Uh, a hot drink going past there in the pit. But anyway, uh, Nebula Racing. Guys, um, I, I'm struck by the colour of your tops. Um, but talk to me about this pit. It, it seems very minimalist and clear. Yeah, we really like the grey background and we try to keep writing to a minimum and keep their rendered images more so that people would just look at the images and not really read the writing. It's definitely very bold and um, what have people said about the pit? What do they like about it? And actually, uh, to what do you like about the pit? Um, I quite like the raised floor just because not many teams have it and it makes us feel superior. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to have to use it. That is, it, I suddenly feel more superior. That is beautiful. Well, listen, it's day two. Ceremonies are coming up. Best of luck. Um, I'll chat to you later on at the track side. Uh, let's go to Faster here. Um, their team there. Hi, guys. We haven't actually met. I can't believe that yesterday. But I'm looking at this pit. It's fabulous. What do you like about it? And why have you gone for this particular design? Uh, I, I like it all, really. I just that, that clean, sort of simple design, I think, just really shows off what it needs to show off and nothing more. Yeah, and you've got the portfolio right in the middle there. Who, who, was, who designed the portfolio? Who put that together? Oh, Lois. Okay, so so people go straight for their portfolio. Is that what you want, or do they want? Wh where do you want to navigate them? Uh, anywhere, really. Just as long as they're looking somewhere, interested in something. Yeah. And and Jerry, I'm liking a photo right here. There's a cheeky smile there. Have you noticed that people have enjoyed sort of taking your whole pit in with with it sort of aesthetics of it? Yeah. 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 Definitely. Just everything we've done here is just simple and clean. That's what we've got really aimed for here. Like it, simple and clean. What a great uh, description of it, guys! Uh, best of luck today. Um, I'll move on to Imperium and the pit. Who am I coming to to chat to? Who? It's going to be Ellie, isn't it? Um, and oh, the mascot in the corner there. That's yeah. that Shelly. There you go. Um, yesterday, interesting on the track. Yeah. I, I didn't get to chat to you, but I'm loving this. Talk me through the pit. Uh, this time we really wanted a section on pit display. So each section is slightly raised or elevated and each section's dedicated to a different part of our competition material. So we've got all of our leaflets and marketing and our merchandise and all of our cars and our tools. Yeah, it's nice. It's, it's definitely structured. There's structure to it and an order. So um, you go on the journey. And what's with the cars heading up? You, you're giving that sense of movement. Yeah, this is all, this is a vocal point of our uh, port 
cockpit display and it's a racing track and it's got all the development of our car and it's almost like the race to the finish line with all of our car designs. Indeed. Well, listen, I'm looking forward to uh, seeing you race a bit better today. Okay. Fingers crossed. Best of luck, guys. Uh, chat to you in a bit. Uh, let's head over here. Resolution. Talk to me. Who should, who, I'm coming over to Rowan. Is that who? Yeah. All right, Rowan. All right. Le I'll let you lead the way. Okay. Well, hi. I'm uh, Rowan. I am the CAD designer for our car, Res for Resolution. And uh, Chris. Uh, and Chris, um, obviously, uh, Rowan doing the car design and everything like that, but Talk to me about the, the pit specifically. What do you love about it and what are you proud of? Uh, well, the thing that I personally really, really like about the whole setup is the fact that we've got the computer spinning around with the, with the car on. It really shows off its good features and uh, it allows you to clearly see like the rear wing, the front wing, the wheels and the, and the main body. Perfect. Well, listen, I, I love it. And there's a little fact on each of the team that are up on the side there. Well, listen, best of luck. Uh, thank you for showing me the pit. Uh, see you in a bit. Um, listen, Vitesse, they were last on the track side yesterday. It wasn't the best of thing day for that, but it's all about improvement. But now we get to talk about the pit. Tell me about it. Um, so our pit is, um, we, we tried mostly to emphasize identity and the sponsors. Um, you can see we've got um, business cards and the websites um, of all our sponsors and we're just very grateful for them who have sticked through us throughout the project and been so supportive. Indeed, I know how difficult it is to get that sponsorship um, but it's, everything seems clear. Uh, is that something you really wanted to say? So the information is simple for people to get to? Yeah, I think, I think it's just really important that everyone knows what our sponsors do which is why we've got the websites and also we've been handing around the business cards to make sure that they get the exposure that they have been promised. Perfect. I think I've ended up with one of those uh, business cards. You've done a great job. Vitesse, see you on the track later on today. Best of luck to them. Fury. I love the name. I feel aggressive, but I'm actually, you're so smiley, you can't possibly be aggressive. Um, this is fabulous design uh, for the pit. Um, are you proud of it when you look at it? We are very proud. It, it displays our changing design and setting standards for the future so we're very proud of it. Is it the journey that you wanted to show people? Yeah so in the background you can see the car flying into the future with the first development class in 2017 to now so it shows the development and what we've gone through to get there. And I'm seeing the merch as well in the far corner those caps they're like a they look very cool like a do I want to wear one for the rest of the pit? I don't think I'm allowed, but I'll tell you what, I will be back later on. Um, I'll move on from here. Brilliant pit display. I love that, Fury. Uh, nice to see you again for day two. Here we are, Team Dynamic Motion. What will happen in this interview? Nobody knows, but I love your energy. But tell me about the USP. What is the unique selling point of your pit? I think our unique selling point of this pit is our Scalex trick. I really think it really draws people to our pit display. As you can see, Charlie is having an amazing time racing both cars. You know. So he can't lose, and that's uh, that's what Charlie does. He can't lose, sets himself. But I'm getting a little bit. It's almost therapeutic, isn't it? Yeah, I'd say so. I mean, I personally love it. I mean, I, my favorite car is the red one, although Charlie does like the yellow one. Can I, just, can I just say, I think Charlie's doing a better job racing here today than he did <laughs> yesterday. And that is team. Uh, you know, yeah, they stop now. Look what's happening. You said that comment, and Charlie stopped. Um, well, listen. But for the pit, what, what's the area that you really want people to take away and say, hey, that's team dynamic motion? I think our most, uh, our, I think our cutting edge, is a uh, is uh, one of our best features. It's our front wing. Uh, our uh, our um, uh, interpretation of the rules allowed us to f take full advantage of it. Oh, that was using the see through. Uh, so, oh, perfect. Well, listen. Um, best of luck to the rest of the day. Thank you very much, Charlie. Good luck uh, with the driving. Uh, a bit of team dynamics going on there. Uh, here we are then. Evolve. Uh, another year. He's finally back from Barcelona for his travels last year. But it was great to see you on the track. But the pit, I love it. Oh, uh, yeah. So this was Freddie's main job uh, in the team, so he can talk you through some of it. Freddie, you're the main man. This was your main job. Yeah. There's only three of us. So we all had a big contribution in uh, helping out. But as you can see here, we've created a little hologram to show our car in a unique way, really. We've also got our Rotary Club Pit Stop Challenge just to engage people, get people in, talk about our sponsors, a bit of return investment for the Rotary Club. Because I was wondering how George manages to be so quick with the reactions, and it's because of this. So this is th this is a lot of fun for people, and, and something they will definitely remember. Do you think it's memorable this pit? I hope so. I hope yeah. A lot of people are enjoying um, coming and have a look. So yeah. 
Brilliant. Well, listen, um, listen, guys, uh, great work. Uh, best of luck today, George. Um, we'll head on round uh, to another pit. I love that little hologram uh, that you get to see. Um, well, here we go. We're into our next pit, Triple Force Plus. Uh, who shall I chat to about this pit display? Oh, there we go. Um, okay, then. So tell me about your... Look at the money. I'm, I'm drawn straight to the money. Well, um, the money is from Arconic. Um, and he, they gave us twenty thousand dollars, so we just converted it into pounds, and Brilliant. spent it on ten new laptops and a track for our school. That's amazing. I'm drawn to it, and it's a, a, a brilliant check. And also, you, the actual display board. I saw you putting that all together. What's the theme behind this? Um, well, it's acrylic um, that we printed on the spon our main sponsors, and then. Um, yeah. It's well, listen, I, I really enjoy it, and I'm loving the, the particular car design. Very special there, uh, with the dimples in there. Triple Force Plus, um, have a great rest of the morning. We'll see you again soon. Oh, here we are, the exception. It's, I'm going to come into the pit, because I think that seems easier to do that. Uh, Aaron, uh, tell me about your pit. Well, um, we all collaboratively designed it, and on meetings, we basically wrote down on a piece of paper what we want on the pit stop. So we all came together, and we all design this pit together on Google Slides too because we thought um, everything would be easier to done. So it's a little bit of everyone in the team. Is that what you, okay? So I mean, who actually put it all together? So that was my job um, okay. along with Ahmed. So and, and what's the unique thing the, your unique thing that says hey this is this is what the exception is? Everything. We are the exception. <laughs> <laughs> so this year we've gone for a micro bit. So this is a reaction time as it goes. You click it and it's a two player game and the arrow points and it tells you how fast your reaction is. So if me and Chuka want to play. Okay, here we go. Live in there. Oh. Oh. Wow, okay, I like that. That's a nice little bit of fun added thing and I can see the, the car design is there. Look, the exception, you're living by the name, doing a great job. I, 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 I will get a picture, but I have to go to the next pit, but I'll be back, I promise, I promise. Uh, there you go, the exception. Let's go to Overdrive. Hello. Like this pit, love the jerseys as well. What What is? The thing that stands out for you in this pit? For me, it's the uh, car design. I'm very happy with it. I designed it. So um, for me, it's the first thing to look at. It's the biggest piece, obviously. And also, this is orange. It pops out. It's a bright color. You know, It's the brightest color, I think, around here. So uh, Definitely. And I like it with the white as well. But what else is going on in the pit? I see the car straight away. Uh, Job's giving me the breakdown on that. Uh, we had to talk sponsorship a lot. So go on. Tell, talk to me about the sponsorship. So I think the sponsorship helped us actually get the pit display made. So as you can see up here, there's all of our sponsors that have like helped us to get this created, which also shows our color and like our theme, our like ethos because of like the orange and the red. And and, and bringing a few cuttings of the, from the newspaper. Hello. So, but it represents Team Overdrive and what we achieved at regionals and what we plan to achieve at nationals as well. I think Farage looks brilliant there. So there you go. Um, listen, guys, uh, best of luck today. Overdrive, uh, we're heading on. Uh, as I say, trying to get through every pit we can. XLR8, the fastest car yesterday on the track. But talk to me about how good your pit is. Um, I think it's really good, considering we at first hired a company to help us with the banners, but um, we got told a couple of days before that it wasn't going to work out, so we've had to kind of use the resources that we did. So I think we've done quite well. Yeah, you, hey, here's a problem. How do we get through it? You, you know, problem solving, and you've done, I think, a fantastic job. So, so hey, you could have done things differently, but those were the circumstances you were given, and I'm, I'm seeing it's all about the food right in the middle. Yeah, most definitely. We've um, put a lot of time into doing those cakes and making it look a bit presentable. Oh, brilliant. Well, listen, uh, great stuff. Lovely to see you. I'm going to see you on the track uh, later on uh, today. Uh, let's go to Red Racing. Uh, the guys over here, the team jerseys, looking a little bit like Marussia back in the day, about 2013. I like that. But your, when I'm seeing the Welsh flag is right there. Is that the, that, is that the most important thing that you want people to take away from the pit? Yes. <laughs> and we've got the England flag and the Poland flag because it's all our nationalities and it's all got red in it, hence the name Red Racing. Perfect. Oh, I understand the, the title now. So um, so you're, you're tell, talking really in your pit saying this is what we are made up of, the team. I see you all up the top. Uh, what is the area that you want people to really look at and understand what you're about? Uh, we just want to uh, make sure that everyone gets across that we're a multinational team and we just want to get across that we're all welcome here. Yeah. And obviously red's the fastest colour, so we all know that as well. Red Racing, lovely to chat to you this morning. Heading over to another pit, another red team. Uh, it's Chef One Racing, uh, straight opposite. Um, Alex, tell me about your pit. Well, we wanted to show appreciation for our sponsors and we also wanted to 
show people the team and everything about it. So obviously the main center point is the car. We've got it in a little glass display case just to show it off a little more. And then on this side, we've got a big banner showing all of our sponsors and partners and a little description of what they do. We've got previous parts of the car. We've got previous, what happened to them? Uh, well, we decided to go for a new design. So we've got the development. So you take people yeah. through on that journey. So it goes from, well, this is like testing on our in-school 3D printing. And then this is what we use for our regionals. And then obviously it develops over here. We've got a little display of what our, some of our partners gave to us. So Prime Metals did some of our carbon fiber 3D prints. Yeah. And then Tim King gave us some bearings. We've got iPads showing some of the portfolios. You've got everything. Literally, you, you, there's not something you haven't thought. And a toolbox down there as well. I love it. Chef One Racing. I'll see you later on on the track. Uh, great to see you again for day two. Here we are, Quantum. Who should I come to to have a little chat to about this pit? I'm going to go for you. Yes. Uh, go on then, Holly. Um, well, we definitely see our pit display as being a great opportunity to entice professional partners. So we have our ROI scheme and why support Quantum. And we have all of our merchandise to make sure each professional partner can leave some in to be able to contact us later on. Oh, brilliant. I love the avatars at the side there of all you guys. And, and also, the, it, it's just it's, it's really nicely designed. Is that, is that hand sanitizer on the side there? I've not seen that, that first. Is that, what, whose idea was that? Uh, well, JRW, one of our professional partners who created our bearings, as part of the business, they just sent us a lot of freebies and they're really cool. I like it, and it's in your team colour as well, which helps a lot. Well, listen, guys, great to see the pit. I really love the display. Quantum there. Uh, let's head on over uh, to meet another team, uh, Team Entity. Well, look at this. It's, it's, it's cheeky. I like it. Um, tell me about this pit. Um, so Ryan designed it, and we think it's definitely improved from last year as he took last year's design and changed it, raised up the side panels, and it's a more invite, inviting atmosphere for us. Yeah, you, you definitely feel like you want to walk in, and, and that's a key factor. So who designed it? Uh, Ryan. Okay, I'm going to come in and have a chat to Ryan. I remember meeting you guys last year. You, you, were, yeah. you were livid about the journey you had to go and do back to Bradford because it was yeah. going to be a long journey. But um, are you enjoying the competition so far? Oh, it's been an amazing experience, as always, and we just loved every second of it. And obviously, I'm seeing the merch. People know exactly where to go to get exactly. a little bit merch. Yeah, yeah. It's much better than last year because everyone's been coming in and been invited to take them, and we, we've run out really quickly every time. There you go. Well, I might have to come back and get one before it does yeah, run out again. Hello. That's what we're talking about. A cheeky freebie. Thank you very much, Team Entity. Lovely to see you again for another year. Hopefully, they'll be uh, improving on last year. Um, here we go. March. Uh, Mac 1. Uh, I was going to say March, but you have been marching on. Mac 1. Uh, this pit is, is great. There's a lot going on. Uh, break it down for me. Well, we, uh, we built it last year, but we couldn't get to the final because of this. We got snowed in, so we likely have to use it again this year. So it was flat pack, ready to go again. Yeah, it's very heavy though, so it's a lot of man handling. <laughs> a lot of man handling. Who did most of the uh, the lifting? Everyone. Oh, it's oh, a team effort. Team yeah, hundred percent. Um, and so, what area do you want people to really sort of invest their time in to, to understand what Mac One's all about? Um, if there was if there was that one key area that you like, is it the car design? Is it the VR that you've got going on? Is it the good stack of mugs? I think. It's more or less everything, but we were we did get a VR off our sponsor, General Dynamics, so that's kind of wowed everyone who's had a go of it anyway. So I haven't had a go yet, so I will come back. Mac One, best, uh, probably the biggest team I've seen uh, so far. Uh, listen, guys, best of luck uh, today. Let's head round. Uh, I think that is it. Is that it? No, that is it. It's done. Oh, there's more. Come on, round. One more set. I was just testing more some blackout. Here they are. I've been given a bag. I'm not expecting uh, freebies, but tell me about your pit, please. Well, it's meant to show off our sponsors and have a TV in the middle and show anything off we want. Well, you've, you've nailed that. It's been done, dusted. And what about the test car area here? Uh, they're all tubes filled with our cars and our development process, and you can pull them out and have a look at them. Okay, perfect. So, so it's uh, fully sort of get involved and, and see. So that was the test car number three, best time 1.67. How did uh, testing go yesterday, actually putting the times out? Uh, a bit bad. We got good time, but uh, sadly we got one of our times got disqualified because a uh, rear wing fell off before the end of the track, but it's, it happens. And now hopefully fixed, ready to go again for today. Already, and hopefully we get a better time than yesterday. Okay, perfect. And I see a PlayStation controller there. I might come back and have a go at that. Uh, brilliant stuff from Awesome Blackout. Well, here we go. They are behind this awesome desk. Tell me about everything I need to know, Fireflies. Uh, so this is our scale electrics track, which we run by yesterday. Wait, if you want to go by here, uh, fill that. 
timing gate we made. Timing gate, and there'll be a three lines. When it goes down to one by there, it'll flash, and then you go. Okay. So as it goes out, you go. Well, we make uh, like a, like proper, yeah. proper racing. Yeah. So it'll, it'll exactly. flash, and then you just got to hold it. Yeah, I did it nice and slow, but I just wanted to see you doing it badly so that then people can improve. Uh, is this the main feature that you want people to see when they when they come over to your pit? Yeah, definitely. We built it to draw it in, and we used the timing gate for other purposes, so just testing, and we thought we'd use it for this to make like a mini competition, which we got the board for on the front, and we wrote down names and times. Perfect. Well, you know what? I, did? I didn't want you to have to move the towel at the end, uh, so I did it very slowly and gentle. Well, listen, Fireflies, best of luck today. Is that a free pen? I don't need all of those. I'll take one, though. Thank you very much, Fireflies. Great work. Uh, now, the guys that are definitely dressed incredibly smart, uh, Regalia Racing. Uh, guys, tell me everything. Oh, look at this. Little mat to go in. Tell me about this. The Sorry? Uh, tell me about your pit. Describe it for the people that are watching right now. I mean, we just got the um, car right there as in an exploded view, and we've got all our sponsors here. They're all of this, by the way, all of these tables and stands were just handmade by us in our own school with our own materials and you even got VR, an iPad presentation that just shows the development of our car and just a bunch of other gimmicks yeah. as well. And do, do you feel like a sense of pride when you look at how far you've come and you see that you were doing DT to design these tables, do you feel that sense of pride and proudness? Um, yeah, but it wasn't me that made the pit display. It was Femi and um, Uzman, so they could maybe speak a bit more. Okay, Femi, do you, do you feel that sense of pride? Yeah, yeah. Um, it took a bit of time to make, uh, and we went th through trial and error, and I'm really proud of what we, me and Ozzy done, so like, I really like it, so yeah. Great work um, from you guys. Listen, um, I love it. I'll come back and do a bit of VR uh, later on. There you go, Regalia Racing, and then Peregrine. Here they are. Tell me about your pit. I'm going to come and stand this side, actually, so the camera can have a little look around. Uh, what do I need to know about your pit? Uh, well, just really how we've set it out. Uh, we have our final design in the top right corner, as you can see there. Uh, just below that, we've got our stand with our water bottles and our regionals car. Um, there's a little handout laminated there where you can see the difference between our regionals car and our nationals car. And as you can see from there, it's been shortened down and compacted a lot more for more aerodynamicity yeah. and to reduce a lot of weight. We've realized that it was a little bit underweight, so that could be a little issue that we could fix on. But other than that, we're really happy with how our car is and how we've laid out our pit display. Um, we've also put our portfolios out on show, so if there's any information that people need to see, it's all here, really. Got you. So they just let them uh, crack on. And I see you're a team uh, member down as well. So you've done a fantastic job with this. I love it. And I like the team mascot there in the far corner. Listen, uh, Peregrine, what a great way to end the pit walk there. Uh, that's it. 28 uh, teams in the professional class done and dusted. Hope you enjoyed that. Let's get to the racing.